welcome back to real time uh, digital signal processing lab. So, today we will see that uh, how we are going to find the contour basically error surface and error contours and then see that how adaptive filter is going to work. The examples what we have uh, taken is from the book as you will be seeing that it is from real time digital signal processing fundamentals implementation and application. This is the third edition a book that is from St. Co. Bobley and then when uh, this thing publisher is John Williams Sons. So, here you will be seeing that compute and plot the three dimensional error surface for L is equal to 2. So, how it is going to do the thing you will be seeing that w 0 and w 1 L is equal to 2, two uh, coefficients what it is being chosen and then you will be uh, considering the mesh grid given by this define w 0 and w 1 arrays for uh, 3D plots what you are giving it and error is given with uh, the equation 0 0.34 minus 0 0.6 into uh, w 0 minus w 1 plus w 0 into uh, this thing uh, w 0 plus w 1 into uh, w 1. So, we know that this is the error signal what we wanted to plot what we have considered in the class also. So, you will be doing that mesh w 0 and w 1 with error that is what what it says plot the mesh using uh, where color is uh, proportional to mesh height add major grid uh, lines what it says. So, you will be adding on the grid and title is error surface what he has given and then label x label x axis is represented with w 0 and y label is w 1 and then the z label we have is MSE that is mean square error what it is going to put. So, we will uh, run this code and then see that how it is going to look like. So, okay. uh, you can see that this is x axis is w 0, y axis is w 1 and then mean square error what you have given it on the z uh, axis. So, you will be seeing that our whatever we saw in the theory. So, you will be seeing the x points y and then z. So, this is the uh, mesh on the grid what you have plotted. So, uh, as we have increased the resolution so, we have to delete from here. Next one is how the contours looks like error contours of mean square error whatever given in the example uh, we have taken the same example same from the same book. So, you will be seeing that it is instead of uh, as you have seen the thing here it is a mesh grid with this and then this you will be finding out the contour of this error for that is uh, weights basically w 0 and w 1 with error and then we said for the 15 uh, uh, is the iteration what we will be fixing it. So, this also we will run it and then see. So, you will be seeing the uh, you will be seeing 15 uh, what is it concentric circle. This is how you will be implementing to see that your weight vectors what it is given if it is more then you can get your uh, contour and then surface basically using this function. So, now the book uh, we have seen in the last lab that is students how they write their codes and other things. So, we will see that how the book is going to give adaptive filter because I have uh, this is from the uh, Welch book what I have taken the thing. So, you will be seeing that different books have been referred for different applications uh, or uh, for uh, any of the uh, solutions you can refer to different books and then you can get the code and then but you have to understand how they have been implemented and what is the thing happening. 
So, here you will be seeing that uh, you are taking the order of the filter is 20 that is number of adaptive filter coefficients what you are assuming it and mu step size is selected as 0 0.01 that is the convergence of factor. So, and then f naught is 1000 uh, here it is going to generate a chirp start frequency and f 1 is 5000 chirp stop frequency. So, chirp is a uh, basically like uh, you can uh, birds chirp what we call it. So, they will be having different tones uh, uh, what they will be creating it same way between 1000 and 5000 hertz you can create in steps of it using this function. And then our uh, step the whatever stop is uh, 20 that is time for the chirp to be at f 1 what it says. So, that is you will be having steps of 20 uh, with varying thing from 1000 to 5000. So, what you are going to give is your voice with the sampling frequency what you will be taking it from this uh, voice recording dot wave. So, you can record your own voice and then store it as a dot wave and then you can use it. Then we will be using the audio read function. Uh, in the latest uh, uh, mod, uh, MATLAB uh, versions and then you will be convert the column to a row vector in this case. Uh, the output is going to be in column format. So, you are doing the transpose. So, you will be getting it as uh, uh, in the row format. Then what happens? M is the length of the voice what you are taking it. So, how what was the duration of voice? You will take that length that is number of samples to be simulated and t is the time which is going to go that is create a time vector for the chirp command. So, you will be creating 1 to m divided by f s. So, noise is what you are going to have it as a chirp which is uh, uh, t f naught t stop comma f 1. So, you will have 20 points that is creating a chirp signal here the function in MATLAB what it is called okay, in as chirp and then what you will be doing you are create the noise storage array x is going from 2 to n noise of whatever n minus 1 previous 1 minus 1 you will be down sampling uh, and then 1 this is the step size what you will be taking it. Then initially your weight vector is going to be zeros, 1 to n the length of the filter that is what it says initialize the adaptive filter coefficients. Then you will be doing the storage of your voice plus noise, create the signal plus noise in this case and then you will be uh, what is it? You are going to normalize the storage, how we are going to uh, do it? that is divided by maximum of absolute of d storage what you are taking it. So, that is the positive highest value dividing by that what you are going to do it. Then your y storage will have 1 to m no, zeros that is storage array for filtered noise and e storage is going to be your errors you can make I think you would have got the hint of it. So, which are going to be zeros 1 to m that is storage array for the cleaned up signal what you are going to have it. So, what is the algorithm for filtering? So, you will be doing j is defined n to m what you are going to do in this case that is interrupt ser uh, service routine simulation starts here input the two channels of data that is x of l noise j what you are going to have it interface interference of noise signal and d will be the desired signal from a d storage of g that is voice signal plus interference what you will be taking it as the desired signal. Now, you are going to have adaptively filter the interference signal. So, you will be making it y is equal to 0 it the length of the filter what you will go n minus 1 y will be y plus you can see the weight i plus 1 what we will be considering it multiplied by x of n minus 
i. So, then end the thing and your error function is e is given by d minus y. So, then update the filter coefficients. So, you will be seeing that w of, uh, of i is uh, uh, updated as w of i instead of calling uh, uh, n plus i plus 1. So, we can update in the present state itself. So, that our storage is going to be reduced w of i star 2 into mu star our error x of n minus i uh, plus 1 what we will be taking it. So, this is the loop which will go and next is prepare the x array for the next input sample. So, you will be taking the next sample from this and then we will be working on it and then uh, the interrupt service rotation uh, simulation is going to end here and you will be doing a storage after the post simulation. So, you will be putting y storage of j will be uh, y whatever the output after finishing your up to filter length and e storage of j is going to give you error e. Then you will be listening to the results basically. So, uh, with the original uh, voice what you will see it voice comma f s signal with interference you will be pausing for uh, 24 seconds and then uh, d storage which is uh, uh, added with noise you will be seeing with the same sampling frequency. Then you will be hearing the adaptive filters output um, uh, that is where it has stored e storage will give you the uh, filtered adaptive filter output there. So, these are the plots what you will be seeing it normalized one ok, how the original voice and then the record voice signal they are overlapped and then you will be seeing the output. So, we will run the code because we have understood how it is adaptive filter is going to work. So, we will run it. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why do you need this book? If you want to learn about real-time digital signal processing DSP, this book can save you many hours of frustration and help you avoid countless dead ends. One, two, three, four, five, and stop. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why do you need this book? If you want to learn about real time digital signal processing DSP, this book can save you many hours of frustration and help you avoid countless dead ends. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and stop. So, you have what first was the original voice, second one now was with the uh, added uh, uh, chirp signal. So, you saw that how the chirp signal is generated, uh, it had a varying uh, frequencies and then later on uh, after adaptive filter you have seen that how the uh, noise is eliminated almost what you can put it because we would not be able to go up to 0 what we said the error cannot be completely 0. So, you are seeing this is the audio signal overlapped with uh, chirp signal what you are seeing it. So, if you want to see a portion of it. So, I can increase I think I may have to go back to original uh, resolution because we try to increase so that we you can see the thing. So, the uh, uh, filter thing is uh, plot is going little up in any case uh, you can see yourself by um, that is uh, expanding the thing how the chirp signal is going to look like. So, now we will see the input and output. 
So, you will be seeing the blue is the input signal and then red is going to be the recovered signal. So, some places you will be seeing that red is little normalized uh, both of them. So, you will be seeing that it is little low. So, can you guess what will be delay of our output in this case? The order of the filter is 20. Okay. So, there will be 20 samples delay in the case of adaptive filter to start our output. So, you can see initial uh, uh, stages what delay we are going to get it. So, this as you can see it is a marked recovered uh, uh, voice signal from the thing. So, you will be seeing that some of it is uh, uh, whatever you will see, see the thing the magnitude is lessened in some places. So, this is the output what you will get it and then but most of the cases we were able to recover from the noise signal or output. So, in the next class we will be seeing how to implement the same thing in uh, uh, code composer studio and few more applications what we will be taking up using adaptive filter both in MATLAB and then code composer studio. Thank you.